welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Primark haul. Um, I'm sorry I haven't done a video in a few weeks, maybe two weeks. It's exam season so I'm really busy uh, but it hasn't stopped me going into Primark. And because I haven't done a Primark haul in about six weeks there's quite a lot. I think I've been in like six times. I think I go in like once a week and I've bought something every week so there is a lot to show. It's probably my biggest Primark haul. So I'm just going to get straight on with it because I don't want to split this into two videos and it is a lot so let's go. So I'm going to try and do it in like an order so I'll do like shoes together, I'll do clothes together and that sort of thing or at least I'll try to, I'll try my best. <laughs> so we'll start with clothes. The first item is this vest top, um, well it's like a crop top and it's like crochet all kind of like knitted. Um, I have, I got it in four colours, I'm wearing the yellow one, I got a white one, I got a pink and a khaki which I'll show you in a minute. These were £5 each. Um, the, will, the one thing I will say about these is to size up because I'm size 8 and the 8 was just horrendous across like the front. It was like really like flat and you could see like your bra. So I, I ended up getting them in different sizes because I seen somebody else sized up five sizes and it looked good enough so I was like I'm just going to get them in a array of sizes because they were selling out and I was like they'll all be fine, I tried them on. So I got the yellow in a 10, I got the white in a 14, I think I got the khaki in a 16 and the pink in a 14. So you can size up and it doesn't matter what size they look good. So yeah that's the white one, that's the pink one and that's the khaki one. They are like a longer crop which I like because I don't like to have like my stomach out so I can wear them with like high waisted like, jeans and there's no flesh on show. Um, and obviously the bigger you go the longer they're going to be and yeah this is the yellow one and yeah I just really like them for a fiver I think I'll get a lot of use out of them and there are other colours as well there's, there's black, purple, there's quite a few colours so definitely check these out by the way if you can hear noises again it is my rabbit he seems to like to do this on every video and I don't want to lock him in his cage so just ignore noises it's the rabbit I picked up just a plain nude vest top and this was £1.80. I got another crop top, this one's kind of like a higher neck one with little sleeves. Um, it's probably the same length as these crop tops that I'm wearing. And this one was £3 and it was a couple of colours and it's ribbed and I just think it's it's quite nice as well for £3. I'm sure in, like these would be like £12 in Topshop, probably maybe more, I don't know. But yeah, that was £3. I then got a nude crop top, this one's kind of like, I don't know like two kind of colours like lines and it's like a slightly shiny again it's a longer crop uh, this one is like a higher neck like almost like a roll neck slightly longer sleeves than the last one and it's just the same on the back and that one was £4 I got this play suit uh, I just thought it was really cute um, it's really colourful it's got little pockets it's quite a thin material but it's not see through um, it's got a cut out on the back so you can see a little bit of back just kind of sh like short not really short though um, strappy vests, uh, strappy straps <laughs> and you can adjust them and yeah I got this in a size 8 which is my normal size and that was £5. Next is this kind of off the shoulder slightly cropped top, it's, you can make it cropped but you don't have to have a crop. It's like elasticated around the bottom, elasticated around the three quarter sleeves and then elasticated around the top so I wear it like straight across but you can wear it up if you don't want to wear it like across and have like your shoulders out. Uh, it's in a few colours, I got an 8, um, I actually just literally blogged about this last night in my blog, I wore it in like a kind of boho kind of outfit um, which is what I wanted it for. I don't normally wear tops like this but I actually really liked it and like boho is really on trend so I thought I'd try it and yeah I really like it, um, it's like a chiffon material but it's not see through and that was £9. The next item is this jumpsuit and it's a collot jumpsuit, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video but I've been after this for so long, I've seen on I think Elle magazine online like published Primark's upcoming collection like most of it and I've seen this and I just thought it was so nice and I could tell it was going to be one of those items that just does not look like it's Primark and it really doesn't. Um, it was £17 so it's slightly more expensive but it's a thick material like it's it's fitted it's like really nice and then it goes down to colours quite like flowy ones and it's got pockets it's got a zip all the way down the back and then just a little button here I actually was looking for this for so long and then my Primark where I shop brought it out and put it in a section where I didn't think it would be so when I eventually found it a few weeks later 
that sold out in all the sizes so I got them to like ring another store and they had them in a 10 so I was like I'll go over and I'll try it because I think it'll be too big but I really want it and I got there and the 10 was too big so I went round and there was a 6 and I was like well you said that the smallest size available was a 10 and I found a 6 so that was weird um, and it fits actually so I would recommend sizing down I mean sometimes I am a 6 but I thought I'd be an 8 in this but it fits so nice in the 6 so I'd probably size down in this to be honest um, but yeah like it just fits so nice it's really comfortable and I do have a blog post coming up about this like in the next week or two week and a half so if you want to see this on then check that out my, and there'll be like a picture on my Instagram as well like I'll leave all the links to my blog and Instagram below I got another collot jumpsuit but this one's slightly different this one isn't like a heavy thick material this is more like floaty um, and it's elasticated in the middle rather than like fitted so this one's a lot more floaty um, it's got really like wide legs um, it's got a zip down the front which I find weird it should really be down the back and you can turn it around but I would recommend sizing up if you want to turn it around and I did size up because I think I want to wear the zip on the back and also I found the elasticate elastication the elastic really tight on my waist so I sized up in that it doesn't look too big it, it's just wider on the legs and more flowy which I like so that was I am think was that 17 as well this one was 15 and I sized up in that, even though it says 8 on the hanger, I'm sure I sized up. Yeah, I sized up in that and got a 10. And it was just because I liked it more flowy, I wanted to wear it backwards. Um, but yeah, it's got a really nice pattern on it, and that was £15. I got another little play suit. Um, this one's kind of like a... It's not paisley pattern, but it kind of looks paisley. It's just white and blue, and it's got a little bit of lace here at the front, but it's not like see-through there. Um, it's just an elasticated waist, little shorts, it does have pockets and I just think it's really cute, it's really cute on as well and that was £7 so that's like a cute little bargain. Another crop top, again a longer one um, and it just crosses over the front. I don't really like shorter crop tops so this comes in black as well but I couldn't see the black until a few weeks after I bought this one but I think I'm just going to keep this one. It's like a pinky peach material. Um, this was £5, I got it in size 8 and yeah it's just really nice, really cute, it's just another top for like the summer. So moving on to coats, well jackets really, I got this little faux leather lime green jacket. Um, if any of you follow my blog or Instagram you'll notice that it's the same as my pink one. I did want this when I got the pink one but they were £25 each and I didn't want to pay £50 at the time like for two coats. Um, and this one went in the sale so this was five pounds yeah I got this for five pounds so I'm so chuffed that I weird there was a couple of colours left and I wanted this one in the pink one so I paid full price for the pink one and now these are in the sale and I got the lime green one so it's really nice it's just got like you know pressed zips a bit of like what's that called I what that's called like a little kind of like quilted on the back it's got zips down the sleeves and it's just really nice and I oversized down on these so I got this in the 6 and yeah that was £5 so you really can't go wrong. got another faux leather jacket but this one is definitely more of a biker faux leather. It's really big fitting. Um, it's really like, it's, 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 it is different to that one. I've, I've found that when I wear it it's quite squeaky um, and it's a bit more like shiny as well, I don't know if you can see that. But this one's definitely more of a biker one, it's got like the belt around here. And it's really like loose and big fitting but in a nice way so i probably just got a size down but this was in the sale as well and they only had like 14s and an 8 so i got the 8 in this and it was 10 pound and i just really love it i love the color i think it's really chic and uh, yeah i couldn't resist for 10 pound and to pajamas i only have one item from the pajama section this month and it's just these little panda trousers uh, i always size up in these i like my pajamas big there's a little like that can tighten the elastic waist and then there's just all it like goes like cuffs on the bottom of the legs and these were four pound and they're just really cute it says peak panda and they are really comfy so for four pound yeah boom <laughs> so on to jeans now i got the super high waist skinnies i'm sure a lot of you have seen these these are like the primark's version of the top shop joni jeans and the river island tube pants so they come all the way up to like the stomach, like the belly button, uh, depends how tall you are, and they're just skinny all the way down, 
They have them in four colours. Um, I got the light blue with the ripped knee and I got the white with, so it's the same but it doesn't have a ripped knee. They also have black with a ripped knee and navy but I have River Islands in black so I didn't want another black pair and the navy is quite similar to the black when you've got them on so I just got the white and the light blue. I got them both in an 8 which I am in tube, like skinny high waist pants. I will also say though the blue fit how a size 8 should and so did the navy and the black but the white I found are bigger so I could have sized down and got a 6 but the 6 were like a tiny little bit too small and I have one of those stomachs where if you put pressure on it just hurts so I do feel these are slightly big and I just hope that they don't stretch after quite a bit of wear because if they do then next time I'll get the 6 in them and then they'll stretch a bit they do feel like a slightly different material but yeah, um, I got them both in an 8 so I'll have to see if they like stretch but the blue is fine and they were £10 each which is a lot cheaper than the Topshop ones which I think are like 30 or 40 so if you're after some high waist skis I'd definitely check out these. So on to bags, I have 5 bags to show. First one is this cute little clutch bag. I've always loved the clutch bags with like a slogan on like an embossed one. I don't know if you can see but this one says like VIP on it and then it's just flat white on the back little gold zip. They're quite big and um, you know they're quite oversized and then it's got the gold on the end. I'm not a big fan of gold so I think I'm going to take these off. They've just got little screws on the back. Um, I'll have to see how that looks. If it, if it looks silly like if there's a hole where the screws be which there might be I'll probably just put them back on. But for £6 you really can't go wrong. Um, I think like Misguided sells this for like £18 and this was £6. Um, so yeah, I'm just really glad that Primark have brought these out because I love this type of clutch. I also got the pink one, so again this is £6 and this one says flirt. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, again I'll probably take the gold things off but for £6 I think they're just really cute. And they are really nice, like they look more than £6 I think. Then the clutch bag is this little pink one that says kiss. It's like got holes so you'll probably be able to see the stuff inside if you really had a good look but they're not that big. Um, this isn't detachable but it's just like, you know, a hand strap um, it's quite decently sized. Um, it came in green and silver, I got the silver as well, I'll show you that, but I didn't get the green because, um, I don't know, I thought the green looked more like a makeup bag and I probably have enough bags to be honest, so I got the pink one that says kiss and the, uh, the silver one is a different material, it's like harder, whereas this one's quite like soft and like like a nice soft fake leather whereas this one with the be metallic is a lot like harder and that one says oh my g well it says omg so oh my god i think the on the verge of looking cheap with like the omg i don't think the kiss is so bad but to be honest i'll probably just wear it that way so that you don't see the omg and they were four pounds so there is a green one and i think the green one says love or lust something like that but yeah they were £4 I just think they're really cute. The next bag is this cute little Perspex bag. I love Perspex bags. Um, I know there was some like boxy clutch ones last year um, up towards the beginning of this year and I didn't get one because it was orange and I didn't like it. I like the clear ones so you can take that out and then I guess that could just be like a little makeup bag and you could just have it like that but yeah that goes in there. It's just got like a gold chain and then it just magnetics on um, they do this is like a lemon pattern so it's like lemons but they also do a watermelon one but it hasn't come out in the store I'm shopping so I would like the watermelon one as well but they haven't got it out yet um, but the lemon one's really cute and I just think it's really fun it's perspex without your stuff being on show because there is a little bag inside it's got a long chain and that was six pound so next I'm going to do shoes the first pair of shoes are these lace up heels like caged on the side this is a big trend right now, um, a lot of shops are doing lace up but for a lot more. These were £16, um, I also got them in nude, there was a red as well but literally like I got in on, uh, I don't know why I was in on the morning but I went in on the, in, uh, in the morning and the guy that worked there said that he just put them out 20 minutes ago and there was this pair, a red and then just a load of size 8s and 7s in like nude so I managed to get the black 
and I checked, I got the guy to check another store and I got the nude ones at another store but the red ones completely sold out and I've never heard anything about the red ones since I haven't even po seen anyone post an Instagram picture of the red ones but I'm not imagining things, I've seen red ones so that's really weird yeah man so I got the black ones and these were 16 they do rub on the back of the heels but um, Primark sell these like little sticky things, I don't know if you can see that for like the back of your heel and the two pound and I got them and they fit perfectly in there and I can wear them and they don't hurt my feet out at all so those are great, they were at the tails, they're like heel cushions so they were two pound and I, I got them for these and they really do work because they do kind of rub on the back so they were 16 in the black and I got the nude, they're exactly the same but those are like a suede material, like faux suede and these are like faux leather um, they were the last ones and there is like a mark there but they were the last ones so I was like oh you'll not see that um, yeah and they rub on the back as well but with those heel things they really don't so they just lace up the front and they're just they're just so nice for £16 like I think like all the other shops are selling lace ups for a lot more I mean I love lace ups anyway so I'd probably just pay it but just with Primark doing them for 16 I just think they're really pretty and they do they do like look nice and I've had loads of compliments on them as well so but like I said they did sell out really quickly so if you haven't already spotted these in the store they might have already been out and sold just really quickly so yeah good luck finding them <laughs> the next heels are these mermaid heels I like to call them they're kind of like mermaidy like kind of like croc kind of look on them they're kind of like a rose pinky gold um so rose gold uh, and they're like cut out all down the sides and they are just like they're so chic and like they're quite comfortable to walk in as well I do feel like this like moves a lot when you walk but it doesn't hurt because obviously there's no support on the sides and um yeah they just look so chic like I love that like cut out mid, like cut out style and these were 12 pound and again these sold out really quickly I haven't seen these back in store since I got them um, and I only seen them in the store on two occasions when I went in the first time when I got them and the second time there was a few left and I haven't seen them since so yeah they were £12 and they are just so pretty next shoes are these mules they're like pointed cut out ones River Island are selling literally these in like kind of like an off white beige grey colour I'm not sure how much they are but I'm imagining like 60 to 80 quid because I've just seen them on the mannequin but they're honestly exactly the same and these are 12 and the black suede like faux suede and they're so nice like they look so nice on they look so expensive like they don't look like 12 pound primer i mean river island's on the exact same shoe so they're really comfy to walk in i felt like you'd feel like your foot was going to come out with no support like higher up or on the back but they're, they're absolutely fine so i really love those i don't have any like mule type shoes and the pointed as well, so I'll, I absolutely love those, like they're such a bargain. Next shoes are these flats, they are lace up, you've probably seen these all over the place because everybody is buying these and for good reason, they are really nice. Um, they've just got zips on the back and then lace up the front and caged on the side for point. Um, normally in flat shoes I'm a 6 or a 7, but I sized down these because I felt they were quite gapy here. But I wore them to the shopping centre the other day and this absolutely rubbed my little toe numb and I mean really bad. So I don't know if I should have sized up and just let there be a bit more of like a toe gap um, because they absolutely kill and no, I haven't heard anyone else saying that they kill the feet either. So they've brought them out in like an off-white colour and I really like them. So if I do get them I'll have to size up in them because I even put like a little toe plaster on it and it was really thick to stop it rubbing and it just it like destroyed the plaster they rubbed so bad so if I wear these it won't be for walking for very long but they are gorgeous and they were £10 and I recommend maybe sizing up so that there's a bit of a toe gap but they're not too big otherwise you're going to have very sore toes like me <laughs> the last pair of shoes are these little flats they are like cross they are crisscrossy um, pointed with a little like hole on either side just there um, they do them in like pretty exactly the same but um, they just come straight across like that whereas these ones are a bit more like shaped with a little hole and these ones don't make my feet look as long as the other ones and these look more expensive the other ones looked a bit cheapish and they were six and these are eight but they only come in the black whereas the six pound ones came in like purple and grey 
but these ones look more expensive and they don't make my feet look as long. So I got those in a six and these were eight pound. I just think they're really cute. I've been wearing them quite a lot and they're really comfortable walking all day. So onto the PS Love range, so like nails and makeup and that sort of thing. I got six pairs of nails. They're all pounds, so I'll just quickly give you a close-up of what they look like. Um, like I said, I love the PS Love nails. Um, I find they always stay on. The glue's great and the, like, the patterns of brought them are really cool so I'll just give you a close up of all these nails I got, I also got two little bottles of nail glue and these are 60 pence for the two. Uh, I love Primark nail glue, I think it works great. Like these aren't Primark nails that I've got on now, these are House of Holland. No, these are Wah London nails. These are Wah London and I even used the Primark glue on these. Um, I think the Primark glue is great, it works for me so I definitely recommend that. And they're so easy to just carry around in your bag, like I always have one on my makeup desk and one in my handbag. Picked up some cosmetic pads, pound, really inexpensive and they're great. I picked up these 12 pack of eyelashes, I seen them at Christmas when they were 8 and then I seen them again in January when they were 4 and they've gone down to a pound which normally they sell the eyelashes for a pound for one, so for 12 for pound you know, why not? And I'll give you a close up of these. I likely won't use all of these, maybe not the glitter ones or the ones with the diamond ears on, um, unless I'm going to some sort of fancy dress or something, but there are a pound and there are quite a few that I will use, so they're great. I got this little eyeshadow uh, palette. It's the shade, eight shade the eye, eyeshadow palette. I don't know why that was so hard to read. Uh, it was 2 50 and I will show you the colours. There was a couple of different ones and I went for this one. I can't really remember now what the other ones were, but I'll do a close up of this. It comes with a little mirror, well quite a big mirror actually. They are really pigmented, like, damn my long nails. I don't know if you can see that, but they are really pigmented. Uh, I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but from swatching them they look really good and it comes with a little brush as well, so I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, these are the liquid lipsticks. Um, well, liquid, this one's 3D Shine Lip Gloss and this one's liquid lipstick. I have a pink one. Uh, it's not the really light pink or the really dark pink, it's the in between pink and it does work really good. It stays on, uh, it applies well, it's not really opaque, uh, sorry, really sheer, it's quite opaque, it's good pigmentation and the only time I find I need to top it up is after food and it's the same with these two. So this is. 27 in nude and this is 10 in nude and I just fancied some nude lip glosses like I love nude lipstick and stuff at the minute um, so I just want to give these a try and they are really good and they are £2 this little nude nail varnish this was 80 pence uh, as you can probably tell I have a slight nude obsession at the moment from my nails as well um, this paints on the shade that my fake nails are. So if you've seen that in the close up, that's kind of the shade that this is. And that was 80 pence, so I'll give you a close up of that. And um, it stays on like a normal nail varnish would a couple of days and starts chipping. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. It was 80 pence. Picked up this makeup brush cleaner. Um, I, ha I normally use the MAC makeup brush cleaner, which is I think 10 pound. Um, and I seem to have lost it. I don't understand how. But I've seen someone on Instagram post this and um, like weeks ago so I've been waiting for weeks for this to come in in the Newcastle store and it's finally come in and it's £2. I haven't had a chance to try it yet because I'm a scruff and I don't clean my makeup brushes enough but um, I've heard that it is really good so it's just like a spray applicator it's 125ml so it's a good size and it was £2 so if that works I'm going to be using that rather than the MAC one it's just like it's five bottles for the price of the MAC one the MAC one is a bit bigger but it still works out better, so hopefully this will be really good. I took the liquid eyeliner. Um, I normally use, oh I can't remember the brand, it's a super drug brand, it's one of the cheaper ones. 
um, it's only like 2 and I couldn't find it and I was in Primark so I thought I'll try the PS Love liquid eyeliner and this was a pound and it's really good like what is the rabbit doing? it's really good like I won't be going back to any other eyeliner brand now I don't think um, it has such a fine little tip on it and it's like a really like it's quite long it's like this long and it's really fine and it just creates such a good line and um, it stays on all day as well like I've got it on now I wore it when I went to London the other day it was stayed on all day and it comes in a couple of colours as well so for a pound like this is my liquid eyeliner now the last item from the PS Love range is this little lip balm um, I can't remember the brand name of the ones and the normally in Topshop when it's like a little dome and then like the actual lip balm is a dome as well I think in my last video I bought a cherry lip balm from Primark and I wanted it to be that shape and it wasn't and I find I found one so this was two pound it smells so good oh my god like I can't stop using it like it's gone down so much and I think it's gonna be one of those things where you know you're just like addicted to it I'm gonna be using it so much I think it's sheer butter and it comes in like a little clear box and like it applies so easily as well for being like a dome shape and for two pound like I can't recommend this enough and it does like really moisture the lips it's really nice so that's great just a few little random pieces now I picked up this shower cap um, there's a couple of different colours and styles well colours they're all the same kind of style um, it was just at the tail so I just picked up whatever you know to shower cap it's £1.50 it's like elasticated um, it works really well it's like towel inside um, this was like soaking when I took it off in the shower the other day and my hair was bone dry so if you're after a shower cap £1.50 I can't remember if I've if I, like, shown you these sunglasses in the last video I don't feel like I bought them that long ago though um, they're just the round tortoiseshell ones they were worth £3 they're also in black, white and like a plastic like sparkly ombre pink and I do want the pink and the white but I just got these for now and they're quite like a big round sunglasser they're not huge but they're not the little tiny ones and three pounds they come with a little case and I've been wearing them a lot they're really comfortable and they're just the great they're really on trend as well at the minute I picked up this little flamingo candle um it doesn't smell you've probably seen it on Instagram no it doesn't smell um I'm not gonna burn it it's just for decoration just a little pink flamingo and I can't remember if he was one pound or one pound fifty or two pound. One pound fifty is coming to mind. But yeah, just a little flamingo candle and it's pretty. The next item is this um it's like a perfume dispenser or diffuser or something like that. Um it was meant to be three pound. What are you doing? Oh naughty. It was meant to be three pound and it was a pound when I got to the till. Um I do have a Yankee candle, one of these, and it smells really strong and I can still smell it like now, it's in the spare room and it's been there for weeks. This one is not as strong, it does smell nice. This is the one in the white box, so I think like sheer butter or something like that. It doesn't really smell that sheer buttery. It smells nice though, it was a pound. Um, maybe because I've got this one in the kitchen, it maybe just can't handle like the cooking smell, like it's a bigger room, it's open plan, like kitchen sitting room. Whereas my other one is just in a small bedroom with not much smell going on in there. But for a pound it, it, it's okay but I probably just won't be in a rush to buy it again um, unless I put it in like the spare room. It's it's not great for like big rooms but it, it smells okay. You get wafts when you walk past. Ah, okay we're nearly there, I promise. The last items are these little food bags. I can't remember if I showed these in my last video. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I'm really sorry if I did. But um, there's a couple on the till as you like paying for stuff. Um, I got the one with like little hamburgers on, ice cream, ketchup, pizza, and the one with ice creams on, different like cones and things like that. Um, they were a pound. They're kind of that material where if they're gonna get like wet, like nothing's gonna, it's not gonna leak. I can't even find the zip. Er, arg. They fold out to like that kind of shape, and they've got like little handles. I just thought they were really cute, like little food bags. Um, hopefully, I'll be going on some like nice trips during the summer. And I just thought these were really great to put like food in for the day, and like nothing's going to leak out or anything. And they were really inexpensive for a pound. And there's a couple of different patterns, so yeah, I just thought they were really cute. So they're a pound. Just one of those things. And that is everything. 
Woo! I don't know about you, but I'm tired. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's everything. I think there's like two things that I haven't shown that I did buy some solar light panels for the garden. There's a picture on my Instagram if you're interested. They're already in the garden, so I don't want to like pull them up, but they were 80 pence and they do the job. And a pair of long black plain running trousers, which were seven pound. They're in the wash. Meh. I'm sure I've shown you enough. But yeah, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too long. I tried not to talk too fast, but there was a lot. So I'm sorry if there's just not much, I don't know, personality in this video or whatever, but I just wanted to show you everything. Um, I didn't want to put it into two videos. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't go too fast or it wasn't too long. And yes, I know I have a Primark obsession. I do shop in other shops, I promise you. Like, you'll see that on my Instagram and my blog. And I do other fashion video hauls as well. They're all on my channel, go have a look. So I'll link everything below if you want to see them all. Not everything's been photographed yet, but most things have. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see you next week in my next video. It'll be great if you could like or comment or subscribe. It really helps me out. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video, guys. See you later.